I just received this box from head and inside this box are obviously tennis shoes and these look great the Sprint Pro 3.5 clay version for women yeah it's not for me it's for my friend but I will still be checking these out because they look great so guys stay tuned I mean, with uh, Djokovic, Rafa in uh, good uh, matches, it's very you know, amazing match uh, from my from my side. So, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> so, clay season is in its full motion, and one of my friends and clients I play with, I coach, asked me to find a new tennis shoe for her, and. She was using the Vapors 9.5 Tour from Nike, so a quite old generation of Vapors that was used by, for example, Petra Kvitova at that time. But it's, it's a long time and now there are the new Vapors, but she asked me to find some replacement for the, for the Vapors. And because she plays with a uh, tennis racket with the head boom uh, tennis racket, I decided to get her uh, head tennis shoe. And here it is. So there is the head tennis shoe, the Sprint Pro 3.5, obviously the clay version. And it looks sweet. So this, this is called the Salmon Lime design or color option and as you can see it's quite similar to the older generations of Sprint Pro and the Sprint Pro tennis shoe it has always been a lightweight shoe and a low to the ground shoe with a great feel for the surface for the cord and this newest generation is made of uh, let's say some new upper and it looks really great i'm not sure if you can see all the details on the upper it's a uh, it's a kind of meshed wrapper upper sorry with with some textile and it feels nice and smooth it f it looks like it will be really nicely breathable and it will be also durable in the important part so the sprint pro 3.5 is used on the tour by marin chilic and uh, he is a great mover he's a tall guy very tall guy but he is very athletic he moves like a cat on the court so he needs a speedy oriented shoe there is not much cushioning in this shoe when I tried the previous generation I was always like oh this shoe is really really hard and there is really not much cushioning and if you try to uh, push the, the cushioning it is very stiff it is very stiff and also the shoe itself feels really stiff if i if i'm trying to bend the shoe it's really really stiff so it is for people who have very great move very great feel for the court and for people who don't actually need the cushioning because they kind of are flying on the court and they really know how to how to soften all the impact they are uh, doing they are making so uh, not shoe for let's say Novak Djokovic at all uh, he needs a completely different shoe that that's why he wears the a6 uh, court ff a massive really big chunky shoe because he is always dragging his feet he's very aggressive he's sliding all the time but this shoe is for someone who wants that speed uh, but who is able to move really softly on the court so 
uh, what are the improvements over the previous generation so obviously the upper is different it looks great breathable mesh all mesh around there is this obviously nice toe guard and this uh, another guard for sliding inside the shoe uh, on the medial side of the shoe and what changed a little bit is the lateral part of the shoe and the back of the shoe it is now more reinforced so the shoe is even more stable and it locks your feet nicely inside the shoe so the padding is really decent inside the shoe the tongue is not that massive it's not that massively padded it's like a medium padded tongue i like that and there is the delta strap technology so the shoelaces go through uh, these straps and these straps are connected through the shoe inside the shoe so it nicely locks your shoe i don't know if you can see it but the straps go uh, inside the shoe all over the shoe and it nicely locks your foot inside the shoe uh, let's have a look on the outsole so this is the outsole for clay obviously with the herringbone pattern this herringbone pattern i don't like this um, let's say kind of minimalistic herringbone pattern it is very small and detailed and on some type of clay it can be really struggle it can really be kind of too let's say too smooth because the space between the each of the uh, the herring bones is really tight is really small so maybe on some some uh, type of clay uh, with bigger chunks of the of the pieces of the clay uh, this won't actually work it will it will kind of slide on the clay more it, it won't grab that much so i like when the spaces between the herring bones are bigger and the, the, the pieces of the herring bones are, let's say, chunkier, are more, uh, are just essentially more bigger. So one interesting thing, there is this tunnel and there are holes with some mesh that provides air through the shoe. If you look inside the shoe or I can remove the insole when i remove the insole and by the way this insole is great it's not like uh, for the mizuno's shoes i reviewed for the sl for the exceed sl2s where i removed the insole and the insole was like hanging it was really soft but this shoe is firm so it will support the movement and there you can see there are holes in the insole and inside the shoe there is this uh, paper cover and if you want to use the cooling system you just remove the paper cover and the air can go through the shoe so this is a really nice uh, invention from hat i'm not sure there are almost no other brands of of tennis shoes that are using this type of let's say system or technology but yeah for for clay players for clay users or for someone who just wants to uh, make the shoe even more breathable it's a nice touch obviously the very small parts of the clay will eventually come through through the shoe even there is the mesh but i don't think it's a problem because guys everyone who plays on clay knows that after each match the socks are done you need to push the, put them into the wash machine and wash them because they are they are red they are red so yeah so guys the weight for this tennis shoe for the size this is the uk 6.5 us 8.5 euro 40 and in centimeters is 25.5 
it's just about 300 grams so yeah nice lightweight shoe it will be great for, for the speedy oriented player who wants that extra feel and touch and contact with the ground so guys these were the head sprint pros 3.5 this women's version it's called salmon lime clay edition and yeah if you want that shoe just check it out the shoes are scarce oh i forgot to mention that the that the outsole is made of the head hybration plus rubber so the premium rubber that will last longer so guys check this shoe out it looks just great and it is comparable to the nike vapor tennis shoe so a, a kind of similar look if you look at this part if you look at the back part of the shoe it kind of reminds me the vapor tennis shoe so guys thank you very much for watching for commenting if you like this video just give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down of course you can you can do whatever you want and if you want to support my channel you like what i'm doing just buy me a coffee the link is below in the description of the video i thank you very much in advance and that's for now all thanks for watching enjoy tennis play tennis don't forget to watch some tennis on tv the roland girl is just insanely good so guys thank you for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.